The first ever Rakuten Symphony Leadership Summit was held between June 13th to 17th, 2022. In order to strengthen the one team spirit amongst members of the company, which comprises multiple companies who have newly joined the Rakuten Group, over 120 executives and leaders gathered at Rakuten Crimson House in Tokyo. On the opening day, CEO of Rakuten Symphony, Tarek Amin, shared the purpose of the summit. Today is not the idea to make all of us look identical. You know, so uniformity is a disaster for what Rakuten and Symphony want to be. We shouldn't look alike, actually. The more innovative we are, and the more of a startup mentality that we continue to carry, we will succeed. As we go through these few days, the worst thing that could happen if our voices become monotone and this becomes a one-way dialogue, that is a nightmare. Do not, do not hold back your opinion. There is nothing you could say that would bother any of us. The job and objective of why we're all here is to define a constructive path for us of how we evolve under one entity, no longer an entities of acquirees. One entity as in Rocket and Symphony, unified with a dream to a vision, Mickey also shared his view on the importance of Rockton Symphony. I know that we have probably one of the best technology in the world. Then we got to get things done one way or another, right? And that's challenging. It's not easy. We need to help each other to get things done. And the good thing is that I know that all of you are excited about this project. But I need to warn you, this project is not easy. I know it's not easy because we are, you know, climbing up the mountain. Nobody has ever climbed up. We are changing the society. We are changing the community because eventually, by our technology, everybody in the world will start enjoying much cheaper, much more flexible network. I, I hope you, you share uh, the the, uh, this emotion as well. But at the same time, uh, we need to be together and walk together and pave the way. Many sessions were held, including a culture workshop where everyone shared their values and found common ground, sessions where business leaders shared their areas of responsibility, and another workshop where participants worked together on different topics to align in the same direction. Attendees of the summit also paid a visit to the Lab for Quality Assurance, where keen executives learned more about the progress and potential of the network. We interviewed some attendees to get their thoughts on the summit. I'm Sunoa Zhang, and currently I'm working in Rakuten Symphony Korea as a senior HRPP. And currently, yeah, I'm working for the, all the operation things, uh, especially HR part. But of course, I need to work for another part except the programming because we are just new. So I'm really happy to work here. And then, yeah, thank you for this opportunity to meet you in person. <laughs> I think I can get two things from here. At first, um, I believe I can get the motivation how I work for this Rakuten Symphony. So um, I think I can um, be aligned to the Rakuten Symphony's goal and vision and how they were dreaming since this Rakuten Symphony has been launched. So, and of course, I can get another thing is um, connection with all the members, how um, we achieved together, so in what we achieved. So I believe that um, after this session, so of course, uh, after the go back to Korea, um, one day if I need any help or any um, support from other entity for the work, then I think it's good opportunity to share what issue we are belongs to, and probably we can overcome together for achieving same goals. Then that would be really great. 
So in yeah, after this summit, I think um, once I go back, of course, I need to download all the things what I feel here to my members, especially my team members. So I uh, belong to the digital experience uh, for you uh, with Olivia Aliui. Uh, and my role is a CTO. Uh, I'm responsible for the product technology and architecture element for the product portfolio that, we, that we're responsible for. So one of the biggest takeaways, I think, for me was the diversity. We have a hugely diverse organization, um, a lot of talented people from all over the world. Um, and for me, that's something that we should celebrate. Uh, I think we spoke a lot about culture uh, at the event. So uh, my next step is to start building and developing this culture with the teams uh, back home. Uh, and, and I think that's the first step on our road to success. I head HR for Rakuten Symphony India. Between Indore, Bangalore and multiple other locations, we are the largest for Rakuten Symphony. We are over 2,500 employees. As someone who's heading HR, I'm responsible for everything that concerns our employees. We believe very strongly that if our teams are happy, if our employees are happy, our customers are happy, and that's where I operate from. This summit has been the best experience that Rakuten has given me. I'm six months old in the organization, and I'm so grateful that I was a part of the team that was chosen to attend the summit. I have a couple of takeaways, a lot of them actually, but let me summarize them for you. The first and foremost is that we are so tightly glued together by Shugi principles, right? Take Rakuten Symphony, for example. Speed is the center of everything that we do. We have, we're hugely obsessed about our customers. The one thing, if you put all 100 of us in a room together, you will see that every single one of us is so passionate about what we do, right? We're constantly improving. We're also constantly hypothesizing and validating what we're doing. So if you see that together, Symphony displays Rakuten Shugi principles every step of the way. I believe very strongly that it's my core responsibility to take it back to my team. So everything that I've learned in the summit, in terms of culture, in terms of customer, in terms of bringing Symphony together, is something that I'm going to go take it back to my team and work on the ground to make Rakuten Symphony a disruptive, innovative company. <laughs> okay.